Welcome back to TW 2016. I'm here once again with my new, my WWE save. I had to catch myself there. Anyway, I'm here back with my WWE save. We are here with SmackDown Live, so let's get started. And we got B Plus starting off the night. The announcers welcome everyone to SmackDown Live. When John Cena's music hits and he comes down the ring and Cena gives a mic and says, "At SummerSlam, I will face a man named Jinder Mahal to win my 17th WWE Championship." Now, some of you may think that statement. By that statement, I'm not taking Jinder Mahal seriously. If you had that observation, you observation, you'd be right. Look at Mahal. Mahal. Up until a few months ago, the guy couldn't win a match to save his life, and now, thanks to help of two actually, excuse me, now three other men, he has weaselled his way into being the WWE champion. I've been outnumbered. Whether. It, whether it be Nexus, Edge and Lita, Legacy, or even DX. And every time I've been outnumbered, at the end of the day, I won. And at the end of SummerSlam, I will win. Jinder Mahal's music hits and he comes out on the stage and he says, I'm out here for one reason. To issue a challenge f for you to face the Great Kali tonight in the main event. Cena says, I never back down from a fight. And I'm not going to start now. Jinder then says, Great. Just know when he's done with you, there won't be much left for me to finish at SummerSlam. Alright, then we ha have a hype pro promo for Sami Zayn and Mike Kanellis for tonight. And we have a hype video that plays for the match that is about to take place. AJ Styles teaming up with Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens and Rusev. And the match gets a 75 B- minus and about that great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura defeat Rusev and Kevin Owens when AJ Styles defeat Kevin Owens. With a springboard 450 splash. Good match. Alright. Randy Orton is shown backstage. And the announcers say he is going to be coming out to address the WWE Universe next. When all of a sudden Orton is attacked by Baron Corbin with the Money in the Bank briefcase. He throws him into a wall. Corbin throws him into a wall. And Orton's just laying on the ground in pain. And then Baron Corbin comes down to the ring. And he, Corbin says... This was supposed to be Randy Orton's time to talk to everyone, but I just stole it from him. I can do whatever I want because I'm not afraid of anyone. Randy Orton is just an old timer taking a time away from me, the real future of the WWE. Randy Orton's music hits, plays, and he comes, starts very slowly walking to the ring. You can tell he's very hurt. Corbin then says, Randy, I'm warning you, don't get in this ring. Randy Orton then proceeds to get in the ring defiantly and is met by a flurry of punches, a few kicks in the corner, and then he drags him out to the center and hits the end of days. Corbin said, I told you, Randy. I told you not to come in here. Drops the mic again. Corbin then lifts Orton back up to hit another end of days, but he is stopped by security. 78, good. All right, here we go. We got a 55C minus match between Sami Zayn and Mike Kanellis. About a decent wrestling, but not much in the way heat. Mike Kanellis defeated Sami Zayn by pinfall with the photo finish after Maria Kanellis interfered. And then after the match, Maria says, What did we tell all of you, Mike? Then says, The power of love prevails. And I'm just going to say, Every other word is ch like line here changes from Maria to Mike. So follow along on your screen if you want to keep track of who's saying what. Anyway, so Maria starts off by saying, Love conquers all. Love makes the world go round. Love is the most important thing we do. Love knows no, love knows no bounds. Love is beautiful. And tonight, Sammy, you learn that sometimes love can be very painful. Their music plays, and they start dancing to their song. All right, here we go. 83B+, plus and I'm at... I'm mean, in a match. Psh, that's not a match. Renee Young is backstage. Please welcome my guest at this time, Kevin Owens. Now, tonight, Kevin Owens cuts, cuts her off and says, I don't care about your stupid questions. Owens takes the mics from Renee. Mic from Renee. Just just leave. Go. And she does. A Kevin then says, AJ, tonight was not foreshadowing to SummerSlam. I'm still the new face of America, and at SummerSlam, I will still be the new face of America, and I will vow to end you just like I ended Chris Jericho. So... Short to the point from Kevin Owens. Here we go. 62C, Carmella and James Ellsworth come down in the ring. Carmella says, You may be wondering why James is here. Well, now that I have a huge bargaining chip looks at and race the SmackDown Women's title, I got James's suspension lifted by Shane. The fans boo. 
Ellsworth says, All of you shut up and listen when the champ is talking. Carmel says, Thank you, James. Anywho, I am now your F-A-B-U-L-O-U-A-S women's champion. And now, tonight, I'm out here to watch Naomi versus Natalia, where the winner will face me at SummerSlam. So, this the announcers talk about how sh- the announcer Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon, neither of them mentioned that this match was for that. It was just a match made, and they are just assuming that Carmella is right, and that is to see who faces her at SummerSlam. And the match gets a 51D+. Subpar Wrestling, Naomi defeated Natalya by pinfall with the rear view, but afterwards, Shane McMahon comes out and says, Now congratulations to Naomi, but Carmella, you had it wrong when you said this match would be to see who faces you at SummerSlam, because they both will both be facing you at SummerSlam. The match was to see which one of them goes first and who goes second. Carmella looks confused, and he, Shane says, Let me explain. When Natalia won, she signed a one at Battleground. I, she immediately came backstage and signed a contract giving her a one-on-one match at SummerSlam for the title. And in Naomi's superstar contract, it states that if she becomes a champion and loses that championship, and if her health is permitting, unlike before at Wrestle when she was hurt before. If her health is permitting, she will be given a one on one rematch at the next pay per view. So, at SummerSlam, Naomi and Natalia will both get one on one title matches. And because she won tonight, Naomi will go second. Thank you all. So, Carmella is screaming, You can't do this! She just ye- keeps yelling that until we go to a commercial. Or something. So basically Shane just says. They both have contracts that state. They get one on one title matches at SummerSlam. So Carmella. If she wants to retain her title. Has to win twice. Alright here we go. A a 65C. Rusev attacks Nakamura backstage. I knew I should have just left it at the match. But I. Yeah whatever. Anyway Nakamura is backstage. About to give an interview. And then Rusev kicks them from behind and throws yeah all right here we go d plus i was hoping for better here considering in real life these guys are oh, awesome anyway breeze and fandango come out to the ring fandango says for months now we've been searching high and low and breeze says well i have been searching high and you have been searching low and Fandango says yes division of labor it's how the best detectives do it anyways back to the point at battlegram battleground we were attacked again and Bree says, but by who? And Fandango says, that is the question, Breezy. That is the quarter of a dollar question, Breeze. Breeze then says, but how will we ever find out who did it? I mean, Fashion Files is over. Tonight, Fandango says, well, Breeze, it's quite simple. The mystery is so big, it will leak into Fashion Files. Breeze finishes his, qu- qu- his statement, season two. Fandango says, yes, and the season premiere will be next week. Bree says, may I? Fandango says, yes, you may. And Breeze looks in the camera and says, Fashion Files, NCIS. And Fandango says, don't miss it next week here on SmackDown Live. So Fashion Files Season 2 next week starts. All right, here we go. C-plus match. Xavier Woods loses to J- Jey Uso with a super kick. And after the match, the Usos attack Biggie and Kofi. So they beat Ex- so Jay beats Xavier in a match, and then they beat up the other two. All right, a seventy six B minus for this match. I was expecting a C. Anyways, in a decent match, John Cena defeated the Great Khali by pinfall with an attitude adjustment in eight minutes and thirty seconds. Um, they have good chemistry. Anyways, after the match, John Cena gets attacked by the Singh brothers and Jinder Mahal again, like he did last week, only last week it got a better rating. Don't know how it went from getting like an A rating to this rating. Anyways, the show got a 79B. That's a, that's a good show. That's a good show. I think both. I think that's what Raw got too. I'm, I'll check it in the show history real fast. I'm, 
a very short term memory considering I just did Raw and then I booked SmackDown and then I recorded SmackDown and I can't even remember if it was a 79. I'm pretty I know it was a B, I'm pretty sure Raw got a B. But I don't know if it was a 79B or not. Let's see here. Se show history 79 and a 82. Okay, so Raw did better. Last week SmackDown did better by 4 points. This week Raw does better by 3 points. Um Yeah. I think both Raw and SmackDown this week went good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.